hey guys welcome to my channel thanks for watching this video well this video is actually a bit different from the two that I put out before um, some of you may know I'm a makeup artist based in Lagos Nigeria so I thought it would be handy if I just gave you guys a quick run through of how I do makeup on my clients so let's just jump right into it um, for the brows I'm using my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills duo brush and I'm starting off by doing the same thing I do on my own face brushing up the brows and using my all-time fave universal eyebrow pencil the Davis pencil similar to what I do for myself if I have a client that is similar shade to me or kind of darker I use the Davis pencil to outline the shape of the brow and then I use a different pencil to fill in the brow you know it could be anything anything I've got in my kit at the moment that I think will suit that client and um, skin tone but nothing that's too kind of dark and too harsh and then as usual I go in and then I clean up the brow using um, a foundation I normally use the same foundation that I'm going to use on the client's face for consistency and if not, I might just use um, a concealer that is one or two shades lighter than the client's skin tone. But as many of you guys know, I'm not into the super, super highlighted under brow look. So I normally go for a more kind of natural, neutral um, finish underneath the brow. Now guys, this video, all I'm saying is that the devil did not want me to film this video and I had so many challenges with my camera with angles with lighting with me myself i got in my own way i allowed the enemy to use me to hinder my own progress so um yeah just bear with me in this video but hopefully you guys can still get um some insight into how i do makeup for my clients <music> Okay, now using the angled brush end of the duo brush, I just lightly feather out the beginning of the brows. Those that have watched my previous videos know that this is a favourite step of mine. Just to make the brows look a bit more natural and also sometimes to get some symmetry in the brow. Um, what you don't want is to have one brow kind of higher than the other. Then using my favourite um, small tape of blending brush, from Sigma I then blend out all the product I take away um, some of the front of the brow and just create a more natural shape in the front of the brow this is what I mean by me hindering my own progress I, I put my own arm in front of the client's face so you guys couldn't even see what I was doing anyway God is my strength I'll get there but yeah I finally moved my hand you could finally see what I was doing next up I'm just using the small type of blending brush and some foundation to just um, prime the client's eye ready for the eyeshadow. Recently I've been loving using like an orange colour um, shadow for transition and um, I used to have this really really good one from MAC actually called Orange. But I couldn't find it anymore and then actually I used my favourite blush from the pumpkin palette and I used that as a transition colour so I've just put that across the client's crease then moving on to my favourite product for eyeshadow um, the Morphe I think it's called the 35N palette and I've just taken the colour from there and done the crease again can you see my lens wow anyway and then I've gone in with another colour from that palette to just further um, define the crease and intensify the client's crease. Using this blush from MAC called Sketch, I, I just go in and I further define the crease. I've been really, um, you know when you have products in your kit and you forget about them and then you find them again and then you're like, wow, this really, really works. That's what happened with those blushes. I didn't use them for a blush because they were slightly too dark. So I used them for a um, an eyeshadow instead. And I, I love the effect it gives. 
Now I've just taken this shade from the MAC Warm Palette and using a flat shader brush I've just applied it to the centre of the client's eye. I love some footage here guys so I just used my Inglot AMC Gel Liner number 77 to apply the client's eyeliner. Now moving on to this glitter pop in the centre of the eye. Um, I'm a fan of gel liners and I use them as glitters so in this instance I've used the Collection 2000 Glam Crystals Gel Liner. I can't remember the name of this particular shade but I've just taken another flat shader brush and use that to apply the glitter to the centre of the client's eye for a bit more pop. Now using the Studio Secret, sorry L'Oreal Paris Studio Secret Skin I don't know the name, I'll put it I'll put it in the video. I'm just applying this all over the client's face. This is a beginner primer I've fallen in love with of Lay. I like how it lays on the foundation. I love how the foundation looks once applied. Now I am using um, my favourite foundation for my clients and for myself as well. It's the NARS All Day Luminous and I'm using the shade New Orleans for this client. Now, um, I always try and match foundation to a client's neck. So if that sometimes means that their um, face may look darker than the foundation shade, it's because I'm trying to match their neck so that it's that seamless look from top to bottom. And I think that we people of colour, we often get that our face is darker than the rest of our body. I do find that a lot with my clients as well. And I'm just using my Lottie foundation buffing brush to buff that into the client's skin. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to highlight. So I'm just drawing out my highlighting map, you know, at the centre of the forehead, under the eyes. And depending on the client's nose, I might take the highlighter in a bit just to further um, slim, slimmen, is that a word? Well, anyway, just to further, I don't know what, what word to use there, but to make the nose appear even slimmer. I sometimes take the highlight in a bit further. I take it up to the contour line on the nose, if that makes sense. Anyway, it will all become apparent. Now for contour, I'm using NARS All Day Luminous in the shade Cartoon as well and I'm just creating the contour map. So um, allow along the sides of the cheekbones, across the forehead and down the nose. Sometimes I do jawline depending on the client and but those are normally the places that I contour and I normally then go ahead and blend in with my Real Technique sponge. To set the highlighted areas, I use my um, fave, the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. And as I said, I normally apply um, a layer on first to just smooth out everything. And then I go in and use more product to bake. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, I forgot to say that I've already applied her lashes off camera. And these lashes actually, I got them off Jimia Global, which is like a Nigerian Amazon. And they were like 300 naira, which is less than like a pound per lash, which is really good. And they're actually really, really nice lashes. Anyway, I'm just using a pencil brush by Sigma. And um, like a dark eyeshadow from the Morphe 35M palette to smoke out underneath her eye. Using Max Studio Fix Powder in NC50 and um, a small paper blush, blush, brush even from e.l.f. I'm just cleaning away um, any excess setting powder. You know at this stage is like when the look's coming together and you're like, yes, this is looking good, you're liking what you're seeing. So yeah, I'm just literally dusting everything away, trying to... Um, create that flawless finish that I 
Okay. Can't really see it because of the lighting in this particular clip, but I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer in ebony bronze to set the contour. This is also a product that I kind of forgot about and we discovered about three weeks ago and I've been using it non-stop. Now for blush, I'm using my favourite blush at the moment, which is the pumpkin palette from Fleet, and I'm using kind of this bright orange colour. Again, you can't really pick it up on camera, but it's a lovely warm orange tone. This is the colour that I also used for transition. It just warms up the face. So I normally use it on the, the apples of the cheeks, kind of going up alongside the contour to warm up as well. And I also apply some um, along the perimeter of the forehead. Again, I just find it, it warms everything up. I like using that one. Warm. Mm, warm. Oh, her highlight's puffing. I like this shot. Anyway, I use Makeup Revolution Golden Rose Sugar. Okay, I don't know the name of that. I'm just going to put it in the description bar and in the video for those of you that want to know. And I just highlight the um, high points of the face. Um, and then I just go into my face mascara at the moment. Oh, I'll be there crushing my shot. But it's the, um, the Rimmel London Day to Night Mascara. Um, and I'm just using that to coat the lower lash. And there we have it guys, this is the finished look. I hope you truly have enjoyed this video where I've just given you a small insight into how I do makeup for my clients. As I said, I'm Tony Kemi, I'm a Lagos based makeup artist. If you wanna contact me for bookings, please look at all my contact information below. And thanks for watching. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, and see you on my next video. Bye.